in the middle of our freeway. Yes! And it's supposed to cut traffic, and every time I drive by there, there's a car accident. And every time there's a car accident in Lebanon, everybody stops to look at the car accident. And you'll be in your car, you're driving, and you'll be saying the same thing every time. tell us that metal sucks and that supposedly we worship the devil when George Mosuf does so much crack that he sounds like a goat giving a blowjob to an anal rape. <laughs> Metalheads never change because even though we're at the beach and it's 5,000 fucking degrees, we're all still wearing black. <laughs> What's that thing in Busa, Michel Al Akil? What was it? How many people here are on Facebook? For all the guys out there, it's not okay for you to put a heart in your fucking messages. I just want you to know that. Only women can do that, alright? It's not, and especially when you're telling another guy, man, can't tira a man, you can bear at Belil, and then you put a heart. I'm, I'm just saying, it's not, it's all I'm saying. And how many women do we have in the crowd tonight? Um, it's not right when I ask how many women are in the crowd that guys go crazy. I just, I just want to say, enjoy putting those hearts. Um, do we have anybody here that's in a relationship today? Anyone with their girlfriend here? You ma'am, where's your boy? You have to, sh he has to be with you. Is he with you? He's over there? That's not him. He's got another woman. What are you, pimp? <laughs> what is it? That's not how it works. Where's your boy? What up? What I add? What up? What an asshole. What's his name? Khalil? What? Do you guys all know him? And you want to go out with her? <laughs> I love how Yuri Mraadi <laughs> plays a fucking Fender Stratocaster in a song that has no guitar in it. <laughs> When I first started as a stand-up comic, I needed material. And I watched Haifa Webb's videos and she gave me at least 10 minutes of stand-up on the spot. Anyone from Greenpeace out here today? <laughs> Fuck, you guys are the shit. I mean that, Greenpeace rule. And I just want to say, 
that you are in the country that should be recognized as the world leader of nature preservation. Because just two days ago, we fucked up an officer over a fucking tree. Yes! 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 You can take away our freedom. You can take away our cars. But you'll never take away our tree. Did you guys see the dude who, who used the RPG? Yes. <laughs> Did you see it when he was like, Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? So he chipped the RPG and then he fucking, he took him out. That's gangster. Did you see that shit? I don't know about you guys. Lebanon is the greatest place on the planet. <laughs> The only country where a police officer will stop you to give you a ticket but start out with an apology is right here. I got stopped by a police officer just yesterday. And he stopped me and I pulled to the side and he's like, I don't want to hurt you, I was like, I'm sorry. I apologize, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Is anybody here on Twitter? No! I think Twitter is awesome, except that it sounds really gay when you tell your friend that I just tweeted. <laughs> hey, who knows this? <laughs> I always thought that should be a metal song. Don't you know? Green Day. Green Day. Who can who can give me the band that plays that? Yes, master. Dr. Dre, Gio, motherfucker. Gio. Let's give it up for Roy, by the way. Yeah. Holding the metal scene together, for Christ's sake. Fantastic. And I, was in the, I just got back from the U.S. and um, I was, uh, I was uh, listening to the radio over there. They have something called Satellite Radio, Sirius XM Radio. And they have a hip-hop station where they bring hip-hop artists and they talk about stuff. And I realized that hip hop artists are the most mysterious people on the planet. Because you will never understand what they're talking about. We can try to be mysterious. But here, let me tell you what happened. The guy comes up, he's like, all right, people, we got today MC Skeet Skeet with us on the radio. He's gonna be coming live. We're gonna be talking to him about his shit. <laughs> what are you talking about? MC Skeet Skeet. Do you? What's up? He's like, yo, man. So tell me. I heard you got some beef with those motherfuckers that came down from down west. Gio. Gio. They try to fuck with my shit. I said, no fucking way. I said, no fucking way. Gio. That's what I said. I understand, man. But tell me, did that shit get resolved in the down low or did you have to put it in the up high? He's like, well, man, they try to fuck with my business. See what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But I told them to go fuck themselves because nobody fucks with Master DP, Big the Brad for the Bree Breeze business. You know what I'm saying? Do you? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you say. You hear me? I fucking hear. You know what I'm saying? I know what the fuck are you saying? I had no fucking clue what they were saying. I wish we had a heavy metal radio show. But we still wouldn't understand what the fuck we were saying. It's a heavy metal radio show, and all heavy metal ar artists have a habit of really elaborating stuff that really does. And get the bow, the Do you know those Lebanese metal bands that start talking about the moon with their weird chains and shit on their stuff? Let me let me play to you every Lebanese metal band when I was when I was in the metal scene about six years ago. Every song, are you ready? It had the following scale. <laughs> It would start like this. And then 
and they would just repeat the same riff, and then a guy would come in, it would be like this. And that would be cool until the guy would come up on the stage and start to explain to you what he was singing with what he was doing. And it would look very weird to see somebody doing the following. He'd be standing up. And he does shit like this. Yo, and the shit That was I Love Lollipops, thank you very much. <laughs> this next song is about um, slavery in the Midwest and it has a very important message. I believe that we should stop all slavery and that the way we treat um, people from other nations is wrong and I especially worked a lot on the second verse. <laughs> I just want to tell you all, that's it, my time is over. I just wanted to come here. I heard that Roy had a concert put together, and I contacted him, I was like, Roy, could I have like a few minutes just to stand in front of the most awesome fucking crowd? And he said no. So we had sex, and then... He couldn't, you can't say no after, you know what I'm saying. Well, so, like, that would be rude. That would just be like, rude. you know what I'm saying? So anyways... I got a show this Sunday at Ibdi Sands, and I think some of you are going to be there. But um, if more of you could be there, it would make the show a lot more fucking epic. Thank you. You guys fucking rock. Good night, people. Keep fucking rocking, buddy! Give up your next band. Actually, give it up for Randy again.